Dear friends, I'm going to solve the first problem from the set of problems that I have given you from time value of money. And the first problem, that, the first kind that we'll be dealing with is the future value of a single amount. Remember I told you that there are two concepts in time value of money. The first one is compounding to make it greater. And the second is discounting then to diminish to make it smaller. So we're going to deal with the first concept that is compounding. Now take this problem. Determine the future value of rupees 1 lakh if you invest in a bank for 5 years at 6% rate of interest. Now you have to find out what will be the value of 1 lakh after 5 years if it earns a 6% rate of interest. And we always assume if it is not mentioned, we always assume that the rate of interest is calculated per annum. All right. Now, now, what is compounding? I have written here the process of investing money as well as reinvesting the interest earned thereon is called compounding. Now, let us solve this problem. How will you solve this problem? We need to find out what is the future value, right? We don't know what is the future value. Right? We do not know what is the future value. What do we have with us? We know that you know we have the present value, that is 1 lakh. If you invest today, determine the future value of rupees 1 lakh. If you invest, it is assumed that you're going to invest 1 lakh today. So that 1 lakh is known as the present value. right one lakh and then we also know what is n number of years or period n is five years and the interest let's call interest as small k k is six percent or 0 0.06 0 0.06 all right now how will you find out the future value so the future value FV is equal to present value into 1 plus K to the power N. Now that is the formula for finding out what is the future value. So which is PV is 1 lakh into 1 plus 0 0.06 your interest right? to the power n. Now what is n? 5 years. So 1 lakh into 1.06 to the power 5. Now how will you find this find out this problem? You use your calculator, right? You need to find out this this future value interest factor. So for that you take 1 point zero six into one 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 point zero six you get one point three three eight all right one point three three eight so one lakh into 1.338 okay so 1 lakh into 1.338 is equal to 1 lakh 33,800 now that is your answer right now that is a normal way of solving you know this kind of a, a, of a problem now here, the, if you see n, n is only 5 years. So, you know, uh, it, 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 it is really not uh, uh, cumbersome to, to find out the future value interest factor because you have only 5 years. Now, what if it is 15 years? What, is it, what if it is 30 years or 40 years? Then calculation becomes tedious, cumbersome. So I'm going to show you another way of finding out 
the future value of this same problem but in a different way. Now all you have to do is write future value is equal to present value into 1 plus k okay the future value is equal to present value now this portion now this is known as the future value interest factor now we are going to rewrite this future value interest factor as future value interest factor FVIF okay K which is the rate of interest small k and n is the period number of years now so same let's find out the same problem using this formula PV is 1 lakh we all know that into FVIF now k is 6% right k is 6% and n is 5 years alright now how do we find out the value of FVIF how do we find out this value now every financial management book will have something known as future value and present value tables at the end of the book you'll find tables like these okay there'll be four tables so the first table is the future value interest factor for one dollar compounded at k percent for n periods okay future value interest factor for one dollar or one rupee in our case since we are in india we say one rupee so that is the first table so the second table is future value interest factors for a one dollar or one rupee annuity okay that's a different table altogether so you see table one okay is different from table two the values are different and then you have something which is known as the present value interest factor for one rupee discounted at k percent so this is for finding out the present value that is another table and the table number four is PVIF present value interest factor for one dollar annuity so you have four different tables now this problem uh, what do you think is this an annuity problem no it is not an, at all an annuity problem because we are dealing with one single cash flow this is a present value of the amount that you're going to invest today it is just one amount one single cash flow so it is not an annuity and that is why we have written fvif future value interest factor now how do you find out the future value interest factor for this table uh, for this problem now look at the table for the first table fvif now you see you have you have columns and rows the rows are the period or the years okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's given till fifty there are some uh, problems that give you, there are some uh, tables that show only 30, only 25, but this problem you have till 50. And then you, and then the columns are the interest, you see, 1%, 2%, 3%, up to 30%. All right, now, what we are going to do is, we will find out, okay, we need to know what is the future value interest factor. Now, what is the uh, rate of interest that we are dealing with here in our problem? It is 6%. Okay, 6%. And and uh, what is the number, how, how many years? What is the period? 5. So now look at that, look at that uh, value that corresponds to 6% and 5 years. Now, the value that corresponds to 6% and 5 years is one point. 3382 so 1.3382 so how much is that so 1 lakh into 1.3382 is equal to 1 lakh 33820 all right now the same like the previous problem it is the same now, of course, here you have 800 and here it is 820 because here we did not take, we took only three, de de uh, you know, three places after decimal. But here because we have taken 1.3382. So, but you see, it's the same. 
it's the same the, 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 the future value interest factor under this method and this method is the same so this is the way that we're going to you know this is the method that we're going to use for solving such kind of problems i hope you have all understood okay so this is future value of a single amount or a single cash flow all right now let's go on to the next problem